What's something you didn't realize 4 years members of the opposite X do? Hi reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will cry. In my freshman year of college, one of my guy friends was horrified to hear that girls' periods last a week. He thought we have symptoms for a week and then let all the period blood out at once, like going to the bathroom. He thought that pads and tampons were for if you knew you wouldn't have enough time to go to the toilet to let it out. Oh my god. Just imagine letting it all go at once. That's horrifying. While convenient, just imagine the aftermath at it. Words. I'd take one bad bathroom trip a month compared to what I go through now. Did you skin a deer in here? WH. Um. What? When I attended childbirth classes, they brought in a couple to discuss their experience with C-section cesarean birth. They told us the husband was in the room for the birth. Someone asked wasn't that difficult to watch them cut open your wife? He replied no worse than gutting a deer. Turns to wife. Right. Deer? I did not know about morning wood until my roommate and I watched the proposal then had her boyfriend explain to us the line it's the morning. At age 21. Um. I had to explain to my then boyfriend's younger brother's girlfriend what morning wood was. Because they were having a huge blowout fight about how he just wanted X all the time. All the time. Even in the morning, you just want X. Yeah, that was a fun night. She thought erections were 100% controllable. Imagine the power. You could punch people by releasing and retracting really quickly. For a while as a kid all I heard was girls don't have a wee wee. So I thought all they had were balls. It took me a while, but I figured it out eventually. I found out around 16ish that when peanuts is become erect it happens in twitches. I thought they just went up in one motion, like one of those pipe whistles. That guys unstick their balls, and it feels damn good. And long step angels burst into song. I'm more of a what's this? Ah, my keys kind of guy. Girls nipples can come inverted, and it can only be just one. Source. My boobs. This is amazingly dumb of me, but up until I was in HS, I thought girls only used tampons, pads to prevent potential leaks. I just assumed chicks had a sphincter muscle in their pee pee and they sort of held in all their period stuff until they went to the bathroom, just like pooping. God I wish. My boyfriend thought this too except he thought the pads were just cause we were too lazy to wipe. Today I learned I have absolutely no knowledge of women's reproductive systems. Hut up. When we are menstruating, we bleed 24-7. Literally, because it usually lasts a week or so. There is no stopping the flow of fluids, and it comes in waves. Tampons and pads just help soak up the fluid and let us have a life. I'd like to know if girls do this. As a man if I walk into a bathroom where one other man is eating, he will almost 100% of the time sniff to make a noise that I'll hear. Every freaking time. I just realized after 45 years of living that female pants have literally useless pockets. Even female cargo pants hold less than regular male pant pockets. For my 20th birthday, I had a drag party and wore my boyfriend's, at the time, suit. I couldn't believe I could fit my phone and a camera in the pockets and it felt like I wasn't carrying anything. And I was so warm and cozy in the jacket. He was in a prom style dress and heels. At 10pm, he cracked it and said he wanted to change back, because he was cold. Suck it up princess. I worked with a 25 year old gentleman, let's call him Paul, because that's his real name, who believed every woman in the world had their period at the same time. When he told me this I burst out laughing, because I imagined that he saw women's periods as a werewolf change brought on by a full moon or something. God I miss Paul. Girls pee in the shower too. I learned this the awkward way. A hidden camera? Not even. The first time I ever experienced shower fun, I walked in, and didn't announce myself. Opened the curtain and couldn't unsee. You know Zoidberg from Futurama? How he does that whoop 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 crab walk. That's what this looked like. That's weird. 
pretty sure most of us just stand normally and pee. Not wash their hair every day. Some women only wash their hair a couple times a week. Store. Hide items in their bras. I didn't think boobs could get any better. What a fool I was. Every girl I know seems to be in denial that guys jack off all the time. Especially if it's a guy they like. Women check out the bulge in a man's pants. I always though guys wearing tight pants just had a strange fashion sense. But apparently they are giving women a show. Every grower just cried a little. I'm a grower. But I have giant balls so I still got that bulge baby edit. It's super late now. Um. But turns out my giant balls are just an inguinal hernia. So you're baller. The flush before you're done peeing toilet game you gentlemen do. Especially at the urinals. We call it the flush rush. I didn't think that women farted until I followed my extra wide bottom dance up the stairs out of the church basement. I was 7 years old. Right behind her. Ass high. Took me by complete surprise. The horrible odor permeated my nose and mouth. I could taste it. Made me dizzy. That's when I stopped believing in God. This is so embarrassing. But I'm female. And I didn't know myself that I was supposed to wipe after peeing until I was in middle school. Let's just say, before that, I always smelled like pee. Nobody ever told me I was supposed to do that. And I wasn't bright enough to figure it out on my own. It only occurred to me when a friend of mine was going to the bathroom to pee at my house and asked me for some toilet paper. Then I connected the dots and thought that that might solve my issue with always having dirty underwear. I wasn't a smart kid, I know. Edit number 2. No, my parents didn't teach me that. At least I don't remember them teaching me that while potty training. And they are not religious, but they are really uptight. All I know about X and my own body now. I had to learn on my own. Hell, once I asked my mum to buy me tampons cause I was done with how messy pads are, and she told me no cause those are for old ladies. And I also asked her plenty of times, while still underage, to take me to a gynecologist, and she never did. Once she made a weird comment about trying to find a gyno who wouldn't break my hymen while checking me down there. So yeah, you can guess what type of education I had. It took me a long, long time to realize that women try as hard as men do to look good, be cool in front of people they are interested in. Women pheromones attract bobby pins, causing them to multiply and hang around all over the house or apartment. Let me tell you about bobby pins. I put 10 bobby pins in my hair one day for a performance. After the performance, I pulled out all 10, showered, brushed my hair and went to bed. The next day, I woke up, brushed my hair again, and had to put in the same 10 bobby pins again. I specifically know it was 10, because I'd lost all of the others. That night, I pulled out 11 bobby pins. The frikers were breeding in my hair. Girls don't pee out of the same hole you frick apparently. According to Orange is the New Black, a lot of girls don't know that either apparently. It was years until I realized they didn't pee out of their butt. It took me until I was 9 to figure out they peed at all. I didn't realize until fairly recently that, some, guys wear underwear under their swimsuits. My swimsuit is basketball shorts so I wear boxers with those. Or else when I get out of the water all you see is a bulge where my shorts are suctioned to my dong. Makes sense. I've seen guys wear swim trunks with boxers. I think they said something about the mesh being uncomfortable. Ah yes, the internet. I think I just logged onto my internet. I didn't realize girls are just as immature about farts as guys are. For years I thought women wanted to hear that they looked better without their makeup. Until I realized women almost seem to think of beauty as a learned skill. Instead of an inherent quality and that fashion and makeup are appealing to them. Because it's something about their appearance that they have full control over. Now when I hear a guy claiming makeup disgusts them and that they think they're crush. Flirt target wants to hear they look better without it. It sounds desperate and like they don't actually understand or like that woman's femininity. 
It sounds like they're basically saying you did all this hard work for nothing, and women would rather hear that it was worth it and that all that hard work was appreciated. I'm sure I'm getting something wrong in this. I've never really shared this thought or realization with anyone so I don't know how accurate it actually is. Obligatory edit. Oh damn. I actually got guild for this? Neat. D. Second edit to better explain some stuff I glossed over. Copied and paraphrased from another reply. If you genuinely just prefer a natural look or don't like when a girl wears makeup. Either, because you just prefer how a woman looks without it or, because you'd rather not get have it getting everywhere. Comma your motives when you say a girl looks better without it are probably different from what I was talking about. Basically what I'm talking about at least is when a federable nice guy thinks he's being clever with it when he's actually scraping the bottom of the barrel for a more meaningful compliment and thinks he's somehow freeing the girl from imagined body image issues. In those cases it also can come off as a fundamental lack of understanding about femininity. It can also be a sign of misogynistic tendencies if he shows disgust at things like makeup or really anything that's almost purely part of a woman's world and not a man's. Maybe I'm reading into that too deeply, but when I hear another guy trying to knock practically everything feminine that he sees or hears about, it really doesn't sound like someone who likes women. I'm not in any way saying that's what's going on if you just don't like makeup. I'm sure for most of you who don't it isn't. I just thought I should explain that better and explain the distinction between what I'm talking about and guys who just don't like working around their girls makeup at intimate moments or who just don't like obvious makeup. If I'm not wearing makeup and a guy tells me I look good, I enjoy it. If I'm wearing makeup and a guy tells me that I shouldn't, because I look better without then I get annoyed. Because I enjoy wearing the makeup and feeling good with it on and don't enjoy getting told that I basically should not have done something I feel good in. I think you are for sure on the right track. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will cry.